Hi yogis, it's Lexi. I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm really inspired today by the cycles of weather we've been having, right? It's beginning to be spring. We can see the flowers blooming. We can see the sun coming out. And then the very next day, it'll be kind of gray and overcast. And it made me think of the cycles of yoga and how certain poses become very in vogue and certain poses become passe. Um, but not for us because we love them all equal. We love them all equal. And today we're gonna love one of the oldest yoga poses, the only posture mentioned in the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali, which is of course Padmasana or Lotus Pose. Now let's just be honest. Some people can naturally, day one of yoga, come into Lotus because they just naturally have more open hips or the way their femurs and certain their pelvis are just so. And other people have to work at it. Whoever you are, wherever you fall on that spectrum, we're just gonna accept what shows up today. Like we have to accept the weather we get each day and have some fun. We're gonna start in Tarasana. So if you have a block, wonderful. If you don't have a block, no problem. Get a towel, make a little towel um, burrito, and come to sit with your feet not in Baddha Konasana, but farther out, right? Tarasana is one of these special yoga poses where your head and your feet can touch one day. But today we're gonna to mix it up. We're gonna take our block or our towel burrito between our feet, clamp it well and good, maybe higher if you want more space, grab your ankles, inhale, find a little bit of a back bend, and on exhale, just keep as much length as you can, because in Tarasana, you're lengthening your third eye to touch the soles of your feet. Very few yoga postures where your feet and your head touch, very deep scorpions or Tarasana. So we're gonna hold and fold, breathing. And in this shape, you might even use your forearms to gently ply your calves down. Awareness on the inhale of puffing up the back plane of your body, which in yoga we understand as the universal, right? We all look more or less anonymous from the back of our body. And on exhale, pulling and releasing the front plane of our body, right? The individual part of our body. Right, and yoga is the union of both, right? Recognizing that we are unique spirits having a unique earthly experience, and at the same time, we are connected with this universal thread of humanity. Okay. On your inhale, roll yourself back up. Take your fingers like little spidies, press them behind you. Don't ever think it, just float your towel or your block into this like wide knee, Tarasana, Navasana, holding for five, for four, you can even play with maybe you lower it, maybe you lift it, and maybe, because you're curious, you go to the spot where you feel more resistance. Mine's lower, and I'm gonna hold for two, and one. Set the block down, take the block to the side, but keep that distance you're working with between your feet. Tuck the fingers again. On your inhale, lift one of your feet. I'll start with my right, I'm not mirroring you, and then bring it a little bit closer to your pelvic floor. And then lift the other foot, step it to the same distance. And then lift the first foot, bring it as close to your pelvic floor as you can. Take the other foot and knead it and just feel the resistance, just sit with it. And then let's walk it out. First foot, it's right for me, step it out. Left foot meets it. Lift it up, back to where we were in Tarasana. Step it out, other side. I'm starting with the left. Inhale. Exhale, tap it down. Inhale, oh, we feel the resistance. Other foot, inhale, tap it down. Take a moment, just feel the groin stretch. Walk it out, start with the left. Start, then follow with the right. Start with the left, follow with the right. We're gonna go a little further this time, and then you're gonna turn so the soles of your feet press down. Try to keep that distance, walk it in again. I'll start with the left and then the right, then the left, then the right. Walk it out, left, right, left, right. Far as you can, other foot. Right is mine, good. Keeping the spine long, building up some heat in the pelvis, right? Where we keep that Shakti and female energy, good. Okay, next time your feet are long, guess where you're coming? Navasana, holding, you can 
look at me. For five, four, three, two, and one. Cross your favorite shin in front of your other favorite shin and meet me in a tabletop. In this tabletop shape, right, you set up your foundation. Active hands, you can paddle your feet if you want, because that feels kind of fun for me. On the inhale, let your belly get heavy, shine your heart forward, tilt the tailbone sky. Exhale, rebound, dome the back body, tuck the tailbone, and hollow the belly. Inhale, take it into that sacred cow. Exhale, hollow the cat. You have about three more, so make it work for you. You can hold in child if you're feeling some back, you know, tension. You can luxuriate and kind of lounge around in cobra if that feels more interesting. Whatever works for two and one. Find that neutral table. Inhale, right leg goes high behind you. Exhale, bend the right knee, turn that hip down. We've done this before, but we're going to pulse it five, four, three. Two, one. Bring the right knee into your chest. Hollow the belly. Rebound. Pulse it. Five, four. There's always more space. Three, two, and one. Inhale. Bring that right leg back. Keep the knee bent. On exhale, wing it out to the right. Rover's Revenge. Pulsing for five, four, three, two, one. Wing it behind the left. Pulse it for five. Doesn't have to be big. Four, three, Two and one. Good job. Bring that right leg back behind you. Straighten the right leg. Tap the right ball now down. And take a few little rock and rolls for three. Really feeling the Achilles tendon. Back of the calf. Two. Good. And one. Now press into the hand. On your next exhale, lift the left knee into the belly. Round the spine. Pulse for five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Inhale, left leg long behind you. Keep that knee bent. Pulsing for five, four, three, two, one. You know the drill. You're going to wing it now out to the left. A little rover's revenge and down dog. Five. This is fun. Four, three, two, one. Bend the right knee. Swing it behind the um, right knee. Left knee goes behind. You can see my knee kind of pointed out. And you're just going to pulse for five. Four. It's a little awkward. Three. Let it be awkward. Two and one. Inhale. Left leg goes long behind you. On exhale, step the left foot between your hands. Woo! Take an inhale here. On exhale, tap the right knee down. Inhale. Lift up to an Anjali. You can come opposite elbow with opposite hand and just create a little cut almost for the back of your head to rest. Breathing for three. For two. One more big breath in. And then let that go. Hands are in the front foot. Lift the back right knee. Right foot steps to meet left forward. Pull up the front of your mat. Dangling here. Fingers can be wet noodles. You can also take that same arm variation either behind your head again. Whatever works. You're here for three. For two, I'm doing a little sweeping with my ponytail. That's good. And one. Release your arm choice. Bend the knees. Roll yourself all the way up to stand. Inhale, reach the arms high. Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to prayer. Honoring just the cycles of life, cycles of season, and knowing that everything changes. This time will change too. So we lean into the good parts and and kind of honor the parts of us that are enduring. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, swan dive as you bow and fold. As you inhale the heart forward, step the right leg back. You're in that long low lunge with the left knee down. Tap the right knee down. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Pull the belly button back. Reach the heart forward. And then windshield wiper that left leg. So take it in. Take it out. Take it in. Take it out. Take it in. Take it out. Now notice where you felt the most, right? It's going to be different for each of us. Pause there. Lengthen the spine and fold for three. For two. And 
one. Rebend the left knee, lift the right knee, step back, downward dog. Hips are high, heels are heavy. On your inhale, ride your breath forward to plank pose, high yogi push up. On the exhale, use your toes to shift your pelvis forward, shoulders ahead of wrists, and slowly lower all the way down. Untuck your toes, widen your hands, little tint. Inhale, lift the heart forward. Exhale, shift the ribs forward, lower back down. Maybe wider, maybe closer, just take two more. Tuck your toes, deliver your bum to your heels, child's pose. Big breath in into the back body, exhale out the front body, hollow it out, ha. Inhale, right your breath to table, exhale, find those bandhas. Pelvic floor lightly lifting, belly button up and in, hasta bandha, chin slightly receding. Left leg goes high on the inhale, square the hips, bend the knee, pulse for five, four, three, two, and one, round the knee to nose, pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Left leg goes high, here we go. Rover's revenge, send it out for five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, a little funky, bring it around for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, extend it long behind you. Tap the left ball bend down. Take a few of your little sensation filled rocks. Two. And one. Suction the right thigh into your body. Pulse for five. Four. Three. Two. One. Extend it long behind you. Bend the knee for five. Four. Three. Two. One, wing it out to the right, Rover's Revenge. Maybe this is a great game for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it behind the left. A little bit of bend of the knee helps. Pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Right leg long and strong behind you. Knee to nose, step it between your hands. Take that inhale, tap the left knee down. Lift up to that. King Arthur, right? Start with the bottom engaged, shoulders over hips, then reach the arms high. If you want to open up the back, then you can. Taking the crisscross of the back of the arms, holding, breathing. Five, four. I'm consciously using my glutes to steer my left hip forward, not let it get left behind for two. Opening up my hip flexors. Finding Mula Bandha, pelvic floor gently lifting up and in. There we go. Reach the arms high. Lift the left leg. Left foot meets right forward, full front of your mat. Again, wet needle the hand, sway. Take that arm variation. You might even take your hands behind the calves. This is a bit aggressive, so you might not be ready for it. Palm the shins and just press them back, breathing for three. Two, and one. Wet noodle the upper body, roll yourself all the way up to stand, let it feel good. Inhale, reach the arms high, Urdha Hastasana. Samas Titi, hands to heart center, cycle of life, cycle of flow. Postures come, we like some more, others come, we learn more from them, maybe the ones that we don't like. Inhale, reach arms high, Exhale, bow and fold all the way down. As you inhale your heart forward, step the left leg back this time, low lunge on the right knee. Tap the left knee down, inhale, straighten the right leg, and here we go, windshield wiper, right? So if you notice, I'm consciously trying to send my right bum back as I windshield my wiper my legs for three. For two. And then I find that spot, right? And I let each leg be different. You know, your body parts are not symmetrical. They're not twins, if anything. They're siblings having a fight, like mine often are, the siblings that live in my house. Okay, once you find that spot that feels really juicy, lengthen and just 
Fill the amount where you keep that sensation interesting, not forcing it. It's early. We're not as warm yet. For two. And really, we don't want to force anything in yoga, right? We want it to just reveal itself. Like, you cannot force a rosebud to open. It's got to happen on its own. All right, there we go. On the inhale, come back to that long, low, luscious lunge. Step back, downward breathing dog. Big breath in here. Exhale, hollow out the front body, wrap your triceps in, rebound, get more length in the spine. Inhale, right your breath to plank pose, high yogi push up again. Use your toes, shoulder to head or wrist, your choice, lower all the way or lower halfway down. Inhale, roll over the toes, thighs can be lowered or lifted. Exhale, we tuck toes, hips high, heels heavy, downward breathing dog. Big breath in, big breath out. Feel the belly button pulling up and in. Feel the back body getting longer through pressing your hands away, sending your bum back in space. Inhale, lift to the balls of the feet. On exhale, slowly step your feet between your hands, or if you want, you can hop. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, bow and fold. Press your hands into the earth, so try to lift your butt higher. Inhale, reverse swan, reach the arms high and overhead. Exhale, pull that prayer to heart center, Samastitihi, Sari Namaskar A. Inhale, lift and lengthen, dristi upward, optimism. Exhale, swan dive, bow and fold. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step to plank, and lower how you want, all the way or halfway. Inhale, roll over the toes. That's your back bend. Exhale, tuck the toes. That's your downward breathing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Now your heels never have to touch. Sometimes mine do, sometimes mine don't. And if they don't touch, I think about how awesome that is that I have more length to find in the back plane of my legs. On this inhale, lift to the balls of the feet. Look between your thumbs. Exhale, step on empty float. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, bow and pull. Reverse swan, reach it high. Pull a prayer to heart center, Samastitihi. We begin again. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, bow and pull. Inhale, lift halfway, prepare. Yogi's on the move. Step to plank and lower, jump back, bend elbows. Inhale, hit your back bend. Exhale, downward breathing. Inhale, exhale. Big breath in. Big breath out. Huge breath in. Exhale out of the, uh, stick out your tongue. Ha, lion's breath. Inhale, right leg goes high. Exhale, bend the right knee. Pulse for three, two, one. Bring the right knee to your nose. You're in plank. Pulse for three, two, one. Inhale, right leg high. Keep the knee bent. Exhale, tap the upper outer right arm. Pulse for three, two, one. Inhale, right leg high, keep the knee bent. Bring it down, under and across, adding obliques for three, two, one. Inhale, right leg high to the sky. Step the right foot between your hands. You're in that long, low lunge. Walk your hands ahead of the front of the mat. Lift off the left toes, bend that left knee. Pulse for three, two, one. Bring the left knee to your nose. Pulse for three, two, one. Inhale, left leg long behind you. Put a little bend to the right knee. Now bring the left knee into your chest. Slow roll all the way up. Reach your arms overhead, one leg in mountain. Cuff your opposite elbow so your hands are in a pickle. And then wing, I'll turn this, you wing that left leg out to the left like you are in a floating frog, this is called. On your exhale, bend the right knee, swing the left leg behind the right. Doesn't have to be a lot. You can use your toe as a kickstand. Inhale, lift it back up, floating rock. Exhale, bring it behind. One more time. Inhale, two more times. Lift it up. Bring it back. Let it be hard. Lift it up. Bring it back. Lift it up without using your hands. Bring the left foot somewhere on the right leg. Avoid the knee. Tree pose. 
Breathing here for three. Or two. And one. Now release your hand. Choose if you want to adjust where the foot is. And then three more breaths. And turn the face forward and back. Good. Release that. Samus T T V. Not always easy to balance. Inhale, reach arms high. Exhale, bow and pull. Inhale, lift halfway. Yogi's on the move. Get to down dog. You can omit it. That vinyasa, you can also add to it. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Like one way you can add to it is if you want more heat, take some push ups. Always available. Downward dog. Inhale, left leg goes high. Bend the left knee. Pulse three, two, one. Left knee to nose. Round the spine for three, two, one. Left leg high. Left knee upper outer left arm for three, two, one. Left leg high. Hit the obliques down under and across for three, two, one. Left leg high. Step it between the hands. Make space for the side body. You're in a supported warrior three. Bend the knee pulse for three, two, one. Knee to nose, round the spine for three, two, one. Lift it back up, put a little bend to the left knee. Here we go, we're rolling up. Hug the right thigh. One leg in mountain, reach the arms overhead, take the Opposite forearm and foot interlace and swing the right leg out to the right. Floating frog. Here we are. Okay, let's dance it. We've established it. Now let's mess with ourselves. Right leg behind the left, just an early curtsy. Doesn't have to be your biggest. And then strength of the left leg, strength of the mind to lift you back up. Take it down. Lift it up. Take it down, lift it up. Two more. Find your tree pose, keep the bind if you can. Three, two, and one. Now we release the arm bind. Put that right foot where we want it, avoiding the knee. Knees don't like to be shoved. Really, nobody likes to be shoved. For three, two, and one. Release two feet to meet as equal. Stand like a mountain. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Bend the knees, swing the arms high. Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Yogi's on the move. Take it back and through. Your vinyasa. Back bend. Hinge back. Downward dog. Right foot steps between the hands. Left heel spins down and in. Warriors rise. Your vinyasa in one. Focusing on that left foot. Sending the left hip forward. Getting a little deeper. Extra inhale here. Exhale, hands turn the right foot. Maybe you hover the right foot. Square the hips. Low push up. Feet meet as equals for the back bend. Downward breathing. Left foot steps forward, pin the right pinky toe edge down, root to rise. Extra breath, focus on the pelvis. Right foot pushing the hips forward. Bun is engaged. One more inhale. Exhale, flow. Three breaths in downward dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift to the balls of the feet. Step, hop, boot, fly, come to the back. Inhale, lift halfway. Bow and fold. Bend the knees, swing the arms high, chair pose. Stand like a mountain. Let that on. Utkatasana on the inhale. Exhale, bow and fold. Lift halfway, prepare. Yogi's on the move. Right foot steps between the hands, left heel down and in, warriors rise. 
Exhale, take a bind behind the back. With your victory cluster, press that left butt forward. On the inhale, straighten the elbows, straighten the front leg, take a back bend. Exhale, re-bend the front knee, humble warrior. Right shoulder resting on the knee or gliding inside the right calf. You might need to hop that left foot wider. I don't want you bowing out to the side. I want you keeping it neutral. For three, for two, and one. Here we go, bound warrior three. We did it with our hands down. Now we're keeping the bind behind our back, holding for three, for two, and one. Bring the left knee into the chest, rolling up to that bound one-legged mountain. This time, foot comes to bound tree, or you bring that ankle across your right thigh to a half lotus, holding for three, for two, and one. Now some of us are gonna release our hands, maybe take a tree variation, or maybe grab that left foot with the right hand, or take the left hand behind your back and work for the bind. If you have the bind, you can stay upright, or maybe play with folding. For three, for two, walking your fingertips back to your toes, and one. We'll all roll ourselves back up and release. Hard to do. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, bow and fold. Inhale, lift halfway, prepare. Yogi, step back, float back, hop back. You do your vinyasa. Inhale to the back bend. Exhale, home base. Left foot steps between the hands, right heel spins down and in. Warriors rise. On the exhale, take the bind behind the back. Use the bind to move the right butt forward. Engage the pinky toe edge. Really find the strength of that back leg. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Let the back bend manifest. Exhale, humble warrior. Sinking the midline, not getting sloppy, getting precise for three. For two. And one. On the inhale, lift up to bow, warrior three. Playing with the shape for three. Using your victory cluster fingers to press that right bum down. Here we go. One legged mountain. Transitioning through the floating frog to a tree. Or taking it to your half lotus with the bind for three. Two, and one. Now using opposite hand if you want to play with binding the half lotus or same hand behind your back. Staying upright is an awesome choice. Staying with tree is an awesome choice. Or taking that by that bow. Three, walking the fingertips back to the toes if that's available. Two, And one. Lift halfway, put a little bend in the left knee, and then try to inhale. Use your core to roll yourself up. Release. Samastitihi. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, bow and fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Yogi's on the move. Back bend, downward dog. Something different. Right foot steps between the hands, left heel spins down and in. Cartwheel open, warrior two. I'll face you. In this warrior two, find an external rotation of the right thigh. Strong arms, lean it back, breathing. Really feeling this in the pelvis for three. For two. And one. Maybe you take that little crisscross behind your head and crack your shoulders. Take it into a reversal of warrior for three. For two, and one. Lean it forward to a power side angle or release your forearm. Totally good to do that too. For three, lean it back for two, and one. 
We're going to release it now into an Ardha Chandrasana. If you have your block and want to use it, that's an awesome tool. If you don't have your block, you certainly can do it without. Breathing for three. For two. And one. Bend that left knee. Take it into Ardha Chandrasana if it's available for you. Really focusing on pressing the pelvis forward. Making this all about the hips today. For three. For two. And one. Okay, if you have the foot, try to keep it. If you don't have the foot, don't worry about it. You're gonna pass now into a warrior three. And then try to lift up with either keeping the bind or losing the bind into a dancer pose. Holding for three, two, and one. Now take your right hand, grab the left foot behind your body. Coming now into a curtsy squat, you can absolutely use your hand. And then kick it into a baby grasshopper. If that's available, or hold the curtsy squat. We're here for three, for two, and one. You're going to now leave that right foot, excuse me, left foot behind the right foot. Peel the right arm to the sky. It's this funky Shiva squat with a twist and rooted, holding for three, feeling it in the outer right groin, opening up our hips, two, and one. Now that front right leg is going to step up and over the left leg into a fallen triangle. Breathing here for five. Right arm can cup behind your head. Open up your groins. Open up your shoulder girdle for four. Three. Lift up. Two. And one. Bum comes down. You're going to Upavista Konasana. Wide leg straddle pose. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, turn your torso. Fold over a straight right leg. Breathing for five. Inhale, lift up. Walk yourself through center. Bring the right foot along with you, either into a Janu Shirshasana, a seated tree pose, or take your right ankle across the left thigh. Pivot so the left foot faces in front of your mat. I'm going to face you so you can see what I'm doing. And then you'll either, if you're taking tree, stay with tree. It's awesome. Or Janu Shirshasana, a seated tree. If you're taking Ardhavada Padma Paschimottanasana, Right hand might swing behind the body. Maybe it can collect that big little piggy there. Left arm will reach toward the sky, and you'll fold. We're here for five. On your next inhale, or when you're done with five, you're going to roll yourself up. Now, if you're in Janu Shishasana, stay with that. If you have the mind, see if you can stay with that. You'll draw that left heel to you, and maybe you'll take this shape in Tinavasana. Maybe. Holding for five. For four. And I love this because my right arm keeps my back open. It helps me avoid my tendency of rounding my upper thoracic spine. So it's a good variation because it teaches me something, not because it's more seemingly complicated. Two and one. Well done. Release your choice. You're back in traditional Navasana. Hug your knees and move any props away. Rock and roll, my friends. You're going to rock and roll into a chair like a Russian gymnast. Rock and roll into a forward fold. If you want to take a little moment of zen. Or rock and roll into Bhakasana Propose. If you want a little fun and play. Wherever you are, you're holding for three. You're there for two. Straighten the arms if you're in crow, or at least trying. And then jump it back. Step it back. Vinyasa flow. Handstand hop. Crawl. Not around though. We're in downward breathing. Dog, big breath 
in. Stick out your tongue, lion's breath. <sighs> Left foot steps between the hands, cartwheel open. Warrior two, second side. Big breath in. Big breath out, feeling that nice external rotation in the front thigh. Try and keep the hips neutral. Feel your body lift. Touch your body to make sure that where you want to be engaged is engaged for two. And one. Making that funky little reference to Lotus with the forearm. If that's interesting to you, lean it back. I love this because it gets such a good side stretch, especially my QL where I carry so much tension for three. Left knee bends, two. Now if you want to keep the bind, keep it for a floating side angle for three. Leaning the head back, keeping length for two. And one, releasing the hand. We're coming into Ardha Shandrasana. Left hand in front, outside, on the ground, on the block, whatever you got works. Finding the shape, breathing for three. Two. Okay, your choice. Stay here for three more wonderful breaths. Grab that back ankle. If you're grabbing it, remember our focus is on sending the pelvis forward, feeling a stretch, opening up the groins for three. For two. And one. Next shape is warrior three, right? With the bind, if you have it. Otherwise, let it go. So you square the hips, right? You feel your core working. Notice how I switch my grip, it helps me. And then I just lift up, strengthen my legs, strengthen my mind, dancer's pose. Breathing here for three. For two. Really using that little pulse of my hamstrings that we did. And one, okay, switch the grip. I'll turn to face you because this gets a little funky. Okay, and then you take a curtsy squat. Now this might be where you stay. This is super hard. You might tap your fingers down. You might take it into that baby grasshopper, it's just kicking the foot out. Same work we've been doing all class. Breathing for three, for two. And one, if you took this, all you can do is lift up, tap that foot down. Some of you might already still be here, that's awesome. Right hand comes down for you girls and guys. Left arm to the sky, taking that twist. Really thinking the work here is to feel a gorgeous stretch. Outer left hip, breathing for three. So whatever it looks like, it doesn't matter if you're feeling that opening, you're feeling that sensation for two. And one, okay. Right pinky toe edge is weight bearing, right hand is weight bearing, left foot lifts up and steps it back. Fall in triangle, take the bind behind the head to just give you support as you lift your pelvis up. Breathing for four. For three. For two. Oh, it feels so good. And one. Butt down. Uttar Konasana, wide leg straddle. Inhale, reach up. Take it towards the back leg. Aim your sternum towards your knee. Lengthen the spine. Fold it down, breathing for five. Sometimes if I look at my toe, it helps me lengthen out that upper back that I have a tendency to round. So play with your drifty to try to get more length out of the posture. Okay, crawl yourself around. Maybe this side will languish and, uh, I don't want to say languish because there's nothing wrong with it. We're going to luxuriate in a little bit of a forward fold. I'm using my hands to like claw forward to pull out of my low back for three. Feels so good. Two. And one. Now walk yourself around. Here we go. Either you take that Janusha Shasana, that tree shape you've been playing with, or you bring that left pinky toe edge on top of your thigh. Yeah. Right hand can hold the foot if that's where you're working, or the same arm behind the back. Takes that down, reach it high, and fold. We're here for five. Four, three, two, and one. 
Okay, same with the journey for your boat. I like to bend my right knee to help me lift up, keeping the bind if you can. We're here for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, you're gonna come now into our full lotus, okay? So if you can, You'll keep that left leg where it is and slide the right one on top of it. If that's available, awesome. If it's not available, you know, you can do Sukhasana with one leg in Lotus. Okay, we're gonna do Uplitya He two times. We're gonna switch the legs up on top. So if you're only doing half Lotus, the one leg will be on top for each. Now notice it, or know that if you're not in Lotus, it's harder to do this. Lotus packages your body and helps you lift up. So you bring your hands down, we're lifting up only five pounds, five. Ashtangis do it for 10 or more, four, three, two, and one. Bum down, pass through a wide leg, and take it the other way now. Okay, so right foot under, left foot on top, or the opposite leg in half lotus. Second round, here we go. Press down, lift up, five. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. Now, referencing the last class where we worked on our peacock, keep your legs in lotus, bring your forearms forward. You'll just lift up, kick the legs back, and take another vinyasa. Good job. From this downward dog, inhale, lift the right leg high, step it between your hands. Walk yourself around so you're in a prasarita pattern to nasana. Now, yogis, you have a choice. You can absolutely grab your big toes, pull the elbows down, bring your head down. But if you would like to lift up into shirshasana B, tripod headstand, go for it. Right? And then once you're up, you'll bring your right leg either into half lotus, maybe you'll come into full lotus. Just an option. Now notice how I'm bringing my toes closer, closer, closer. I'm packaging. And then I'm gonna bring my lotus down. Maybe you stay here, or you can rest your shin on the back of your arms and then lift the hip up. Coming into a variation of Kukutasana rooster pose. Breathing here wherever you are for five. If you're still upside down in lotus, maybe switch the cross for four. Three, two, and one. If your head is up, lower it, lift, unwind, boop, and then we'll all come down. Good job, walk yourself around to low lunge on the back foot, and then step it back, downward dog. Okay, coming back to Sit in your lotus or your sukhasana or maybe your baddha konasana, right? Maybe you're going to take that traditional pose. Whatever works for you. You'll now take jhana mudra, right? Thumb and pointer finger touch, back of the hands, round the spine, and just take five big breaths. This pose represents wisdom. It represents balance. It represents introspection. The beauty of lotus pose is it is said when you're in lotus, your pelvic floor hits neutral. And you have a perfect marriage of your masculine, your feminine energy, the front body, the back body, you're in perfect harmony. You have to work for it sometimes. But when you find these moments, they're so sweet. So again, just savor the moments of delight in your life. And the moments that are a little more trying, know that you are learning some tremendous lessons. Thank you for tuning in. The light in me reflects and respects the beautiful light that is you. Namaste.